Hi everyone, it's Miss Stacy from the YMCA. Today we're going to read a story from our Healthy Schools, Healthy Communities curriculum developed by the Michigan Fitness Foundation. Our story today is called Cook a Doodle Do by Janet Stevens and Susan Stevens Crummel. Where do you think this story takes place? Who likes to help cook? What things have you helped cook? When you help cook, does it make the food taste better? Let's read our story today and see what they might be cooking. Peck, peck, peck. Always chicken feed, day after day, year after year. I'm sick of it, squawked Big Brown Rooster. Can we get something new to eat around here, please? Nobody's listening. What's a hungry rooster to do? There's no hope. Wait a minute, Rooster remembered. A story his mama used to tell. A story handed down from chicken to chicken. The story is of his famous great-grandmother, the Little Red Hen. Rooster rushed into the chicken coop. It has to be here, he said. He looked high and low, and there it was, hidden under the nest, her cookbook, The Joy of Cooking Alone, by L.R. Hen. Rooster carefully turned the pages. So many recipes. And I thought, she just baked bread? Look at this strawberry shortcake. That's it. I'll make the most wonderful, magnificent strawberry shortcake in the whole wide world. No more chicken feed for me. Yes, sir, just like great granny, I'll be a cook. Cook a doodle do, crowed Rooster as he pranced towards the big farmhouse. Cook a doodle do, said Dog. Have you lost your marbles, Rooster, asked Cat. You've never cooked anything before, said Goose. That doesn't matter, replied Rooster. Cooking is in my blood. It's a family tradition. Now, who will help me? Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the goose. And away they went. Rooster pushed open the kitchen door. It looks like I'm on my own, just like great granny. He sighed and put on his apron. We'll help you. Rooster turned and there stood Turtle, Iguana, and Potbelly Pig. Do you three know anything about cooking, Rooster asked. I can read recipes, said Turtle. I can get stuff, said Iguana. I can taste, said Pig. I'm an expert at tasting. Then we're a team, declared Rooster. Let's get ready and start cooking. Turtle read the cookbook. Heat oven to 450 degrees. I can do that, said Iguana. Look, I'll turn the knob. 150, 250, 350, 450. Hey, cooking is easy. Rooster put a big bowl on the table. What's our first ingredient, he asked. The recipe says we need flour, said Turtle. I can do that, said Iguana. He dashed outside and picked a petunia. How's this flour? No, 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 said Rooster. Not that kind of flour. We need flour for cooking. You know, the fluffy white stuff that's made from wheat. Can I taste the flour, asked Pig. Not yet, Pig, said Turtle. The recipe says to sift it first. What does sift mean, asked Iguana. Hmm, said Turtle. I think sift means to search through. You mean like when I sift through the garbage looking for lunch, asked Pig. I can do that, said Iguana, and he dived into the flour, throwing it everywhere. No, 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 said Rooster, don't sift the flour like that. Put it through this sifter. Rooster turned the crank and sifted the flour into a big pile. Can I taste the pile, asked Pig? Not yet, Pig, said Turtle. Now we measure the flour. I can do that, said Iguana, and he grabbed a ruler. 
The flower is four inches tall. No, 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 said Rooster. We don't want to know how tall it is. We want to know how much there is. We measure the flower with this metal measuring cup. We need two cups, added Turtle, so fill it twice. Rooster dumped in two cups of flour into the bowl. Can I taste it now, asked Pig. Not yet, Pig, said Turtle. We need to add two tablespoons of sugar, one tablespoon of baking powder, and one half teaspoon of salt. I can do that, said Iguana. He looked under the table, but where are the tablespoons? He looked in the teapot. No teaspoons in here. No, 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 said Rooster. Don't look in the teapot or under the table. These spoons are for measuring. Each holds a certain amount. Rooster measured the sugar, baking powder, salt, and poured them into a big bowl, then sifted all the ingredients together. Looks awfully white in there, said Pig. I better taste it. Not yet, Pig, said Turtle. Now we add butter. We need one stick. I can do that, cried Iguana. He raced outside and broke off a branch. How's this stick? No, 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 said Rooster, not that kind of stick. A stick of butter. Rooster unwrapped the butter and dropped it into the bowl. The butter is just sitting in there like a log, said Pig. Maybe I need to taste it. Not yet, Pig, said Turtle. Next, we cut the butter. I can do that, said Iguana. Uh-oh, scissors don't cut the butter very well. No, 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 said Rooster. Don't cut the butter with scissors. Use two table knives like this. Rooster cut in the butter until the mixture was crumbly. Looks mighty dry in there, said Pig. Perhaps I should taste it. Not yet, said Turtle. Now the recipe says to beat one egg. I can do that, said Iguana. No, 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 said Rooster. Don't beat an egg with a baseball bat. Use an egg beater. Rooster carefully broke the egg into a dish. Beat it with the egg beater and pour it into the big bowl. That looks tasty, said Pig. Please let me taste it. Not yet, Pig, said Turtle. Now add milk. We need two thirds of a cup. I can do that, said Iguana. Here, hold that glass measuring cup and I'll saw off a third. We'll use the other two thirds to measure the milk. Wait, said Pig. Why don't we fill the measuring cup up to the top and I'll drink down a third. No, 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 said Rooster. The cup has marks on it. One third, two thirds, and one cup. We'll fill it to the two thirds mark. Rooster poured the milk into the bowl. It surely needs tasting now, said Pig. Not yet, Pig, said Turtle. Now we mix the dough and put it in a greased baking pan. Rooster stirred and spread as Turtle read. Bake in the oven for 15 to 18 minutes. I can do that, cried Iguana. Iguana shoved the pan into the oven. Let's see. 15 minutes equals 900 seconds. I'll count them. One, two, three, four. No, 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 said Rooster. And he set the timer so that the Iguana would stop counting the seconds. Pig burned his tongue on the oven trying to taste the shortcake. Turtle studied the cookbook to see what to do next. Let's cut up the strawberries and whip the cream, said Turtle. And they cut and cut and whipped and whipped until ding. Rooster grabbed the oven mitt off Iguana's head and took the shortcake sh carefully out of the oven. Oh, it's beautiful and it smells so good, said Pig. I know, I have to taste it now. Not yet, Pig, said Turtle. We need to let it cool. Soon the shortcake was ready to cut. Rooster sliced it in half. They stacked one layer of the cake one layer of the whipped cream and one layer of the strawberries. And then again, cake, cream, berries. It looked just like the picture of the strawberry shortcake in the cookbook. This is the most wonderful, magnificent strawberry shortcake in the whole wide world, said Rooster. If Great Granny could see me now. Let's take it to the table. I can do that, cried Iguana. 
He yanked at the plate and the shortcake tilted and slid, splat, right onto the floor. Pig was ready. Now it's my turn to taste it. In a split second, the shortcake was gone. Every last crumble had disappeared into the pot belly of the pig. Our shortcake, cried Iguana. You ate it. I thought it was my turn, replied Pig. I'm the taster, remember? And it tasted great. But it was our masterpiece, moaned Turtle. And a tasty one too, said Pig. Now we can make something else. Yeah, Iguana glared. How about a plump, juicy roast pig? Pig gasped. Roast pig? How about a guana pot pie or, or turtle soup? No, 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 cried Rooster. Listen to me. We made this shortcake as a team, and the team works together. But pig ate it, whined Turtle. A guana dropped it, pouted pig. Turtle should have caught it, grumbled a guana. It doesn't matter, said Rooster. The first shortcake was just for practice. It won't be as hard to make the second time. Well, added Turtle, we don't have to worry about messing up the kitchen. It's already a mess. So who will help me make it again? Asked Rooster. Pig, Turtle, and Iguana looked at each other. I will, said Pig. I will, said Turtle. I will, said Iguana. Cook a doodle doo, crowed Rooster. Let's get cooking again. Together, they made the second most wonderful, magnificent strawberry shortcake in the whole wide world. And it was a lot easier than the first time. The end. Why did the rooster want to learn how to cook? Right, he wanted to eat something other than his chicken feet. How did the turtle, iguana, and the pig help the rooster? Right, turtle read the recipe, iguana collected things, and pig was the taster. What new foods have you tasted that you really love? Thank you all for listening and I'll see you again next time. Bye.